show you today okay it's a little magic trick and so right here I have a ball see this little red ball I have a ball right here and there's nothing in this hand right see nothing in my hand I have a little red ball ready so I'm gonna put this ball in here I'm gonna tap my hands or this hand two times ready one two <gasps> what two balls ha <laughs> are you ready there's even more ready okay so I'm gonna take the two balls I'm gonna put them in this hand. I'm gonna tap it three times. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, three balls. One, two, three. What? Y'all didn't know I could do magic, did you? <laughs> but you know what? It's not real magic, it's just a trick. But our story today is about somebody who was doing tricks, like kind of like magic tricks like that and he wanted to do something even more special, but he wanted to do something that only God can do through people who love him. So we're gonna hear about that in a minute, but not yet, because first, we're gonna do our memory verse. Are you guys ready with our memory verse? Remember, we're gonna praise God and thank God because what? He is awesome, he's good, he's wonderful. So everybody stand on up and say hi to Miss Cherie as she comes to do our memory verse. Hi Miss Cherie. Hi friends, I'm so excited to practice our memory verse with you today. Do you remember what it is? It's from the Bible. What do we know about the Bible? It's true, it's right, and it's God's word so we can trust those words with all our heart. Are you ready to practice? Okay, the first line says, praise the Lord. So we're going to clap our hands like this. Praise the Lord. Okay, can you do that with me? Ready? One, two, three. Praise the Lord. Great job, guys. Now we're going to add the next line. It says, thank the Lord. So we're going to take our hands like this, and we're going to put them up like this, like we're saying thank you out of our mouths. So are you ready to practice that with me? Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord. Very good, guys. The next line says, because he is good. What do you think of when you think of the word good? Thumbs up, right? So we're going to say, because he is good. Let's put all that together. Are you ready? Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord, because he is good. Great job, guys. The last part is his love. So we're going to put our hands over our heart. His love continues now spin our fingers around like this and then forever you're gonna put your hands like this and push them forward are you ready let's try that his love continues forever great job let's put it all together are you ready praise the Lord thank the Lord for he is good his love continues forever very good, guys. Last time, we're going to put the verse with it this time. So make a Bible with your hands. It's from the book of Psalms, and it's chapter 106, verse 1. Are you ready? Here we go. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord, because he is good. His love continues forever. Psalm 106, 1. You're doing a great job. Let's do it one more time. Are you ready? Awesome, here we go. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord because he is good. His love continues forever. Psalm 1061. You did a great job, guys. I'm so proud of you. What a great verse. We get to praise God and we get to thank him because he's so good. And you know what? What did you just say? You said his love continues forever. That means God is going to always love you. That's right. All right, now if you sat down, you gotta stand back up because now it's time to sing our song. Remember, we're gonna sing God said so, oh, oh. 
because we know God's so good and we can trust him with all our hearts. Everybody say hi to Miss Elise and Miss Kimberly as they come do our song with us. Hi! I can trust in God with all my heart He will do what He said He will do I can trust in God with all my heart And so can you so can you Oh, oh, oh God said so Oh, oh God said so Oh, oh He said that He loves me Oh, oh, oh God said so Oh, oh God said so Oh, oh He said that He loves me So I know that He loves me In God with all my heart He will do what He said He will do I can trust in God with all my heart And so can you So can you Yeah Oh, oh, oh God said so Oh, oh God said so that he loves me Oh, oh, oh God said so Oh, oh God said so Oh, oh He said that he loves me So I know that he loves me What do you believe? God loves me How do you know? God said so What do you believe? God loves me How do you know? God said so, oh, oh. Can y'all tell I like to sing? I love singing, it's so much fun. You know what? I think we should sing our thank you prayer to God. Tell him thank you for our snacks and thank you for everything that he's given us. Are you ready? Let me see those ready fingers. Ready? One, two, three. God our Father, God our Father, we thank you. We thank you for our many blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. Now then, I want everybody to reach up high and get a bubble. Put it in your mouth. And if you have a snack, have a seat. You can have some snack now. And you know what? It's time for our story. Remember, I did a little magic trick with the three little balls earlier. Well, it's time to hear about the guy who was trying to do some magic, but wanted to do something even more amazing. All right, let's hear about that from Miss Lanita. She's from our Sunnyvale campus. Can everybody say, hi, Miss Lanita. Hey kids, have y'all ever seen a magic trick kind of like this one? Or where they make somebody disappear? Well, in today's lesson, we're gonna learn about two men. One of them who is a magician, who makes magic tricks happen, and one of them who performs miracles by the power that God sends him. So, let's start with opening our Bibles to Acts 8. And what do we know about the Bible, y'all? We know the Bible is always true, and the Bible is always right, because it's God's word. Okay, so first we're gonna start with learning about our friend Philip. Now, Philip was an obedient server, servant sorry, of God, and he preached the good news 
everywhere God told him to. He would say whatever God told him to say. God would give him power to heal people so he could lay his hands on someone who was crippled and couldn't walk, and that man would be able to run. And he could also make the people who were tired and weak strong because that was the power that God sent to him. Now we also have another friend in this lesson and his name is Simon. Now Simon performed magic tricks. He was a magician like you saw here. And he would also attract large crowds of people. They would come to see him trick them. And that's not real magic, is it? No, it's not. So one day Simon heard about Philip. He went to see Philip preach the good news. Philip was telling them that God is good and Jesus is alive. And Simon decided that he wanted in on that and that he also wanted to be baptized. So Philip baptized him. From there on, Simon decided that he wanted to stay with Philip wherever he went. He wanted to follow him. So one day when Simon was following Philip, some other apostles came and they were laying hands on people and performing miracles. Simon saw this magic power that God had sent them to heal people, and he decided he wanted that for himself. So he went and asked one of the men, how do I get this power? I will pay a lot of money for it. The man looked at Simon shocked. Can you show me your shocked faces? Oh, very good. He looked at Simon shocked and he said, Simon, this power isn't a trick. You can't pay for this kind of power and your heart isn't right if you think that you can buy God. Now, Simon didn't understand that what he was asking was wrong. Simon wanted all that power for himself instead of telling people about the power of God. Simon wanted people to love him instead of love God. And that's not right, is it? No. See, Philip, he understood. Sometimes Philip preached to large crowds of people, and sometimes Philip was called to just preach to one person. The Bible tells us about when Philip saw an angel. The angel told Philip to run down the street. So Philip did. And when he got there, he saw an Ethiopian man trying to read out of the Old Testament. Philip asked the Ethiopian man, do you understand what you're reading? The Ethiopian man replied, well, how can I if nobody explains it to me? So Philip said, I'll explain it to you, I'll help you. And so Philip looked and he said, oh, this is Isaiah telling us that Jesus is coming to die so that we can live. Isn't that good news? Right then and there, the Ethiopian man decided that he wanted to be baptized. He had believed everything Philip had told him and he wanted to dedicate his life to God. So Philip baptized him right then and there immediately. Isn't that a wonderful story? I love it. So you see, Philip wasn't doing it so that he could get love and recognition for himself. Philip was doing it so that he could spread the good news, the good news that God is good and Jesus is alive. When we decide to follow Jesus Christ, he sends the Holy Spirit into our hearts. Can you show me where your heart is? That's right. He sends the Holy Spirit into our hearts, and then the Holy Spirit tells us where to go, who to preach to, and what to say to share the good news. Do you remember what the good news is? Good. God is good, and Jesus is alive. Great job. Now, I have some questions for you and it's a little bit more than you usually have, so make sure that you have your thinking caps on, okay? All right, number one. What did Simon do to amaze the crowds? He performed magic tricks. It wasn't real magic. He was just tricking the people. Number two, who performed miracles of God in front of the crowds? That was our friend Philip, right? Good job. Number three, how did Simon think that he could get the power of God? Right, he thought that he could buy it. You can't buy God's power, that's silly. Number four, 
Who called Philip to preach to the large crowds of people? God. Good job. And number five, who was the Ethiopian man reading about? He was reading about Jesus. Jesus coming to die for us so that we may live. Last question, are you ready? Number six, did the Ethiopian man believe right then and there or did he believe later? Right then and there, he believed him and he wanted to get baptized. Well, that was a great job y'all did today. I am so proud of y'all. Please go back and read over Acts 8 and we will see you next time. Bye. Wow, did you guys hear that? Oh my goodness, Miss Lenina had a rabbit and a hat. Wow, so she did a trick too, just like I did a trick with the three red balls. But you know what? Magic tricks are just tricks. They're not, re they're real, but not for real magic, okay? They're just tricks. But what do we know? God does miracles and only God can do miracles. Wow, Philip trusted God because God is so good. Philip could do miracles because he believed in and he trusted God. Oh, wow, it's just so amazing, y'all. It's just, I can't believe it that God does such amazing things. But you know what? I think we should just take a minute and pray and thank God for being so amazing. All right, let me see those ready fingers. Ready? One, two, three. God, we thank you that you love us. We thank you for doing amazing miracles that only you can do. We thank you that even though other people do tricks to try to trick us and stuff, we thank you that only you can do miracles. We thank you for Philip and how he trusted you and how people were saved and came to know you because of your miracles and your love. It's in your name we pray, amen. All right, guys, I hope you have a great week. And parents, remember, you can go to clifec.com forward slash parents, and you can find all the resources for today's lesson with an activity and a craft that all go with this lesson. You guys have a great week. Bye.